Folks, how you doing? Welcome to another edition of the Quarantine Kitchen. Today we're making Supper Club cocktails. I'm talking the Grasshopper, the Pink Squirrel, the Brandy Alexander. They're great cocktails that feature the hard work of our dairy farmers and cows. That's right, folks. We're going ice cream and whipping cream in some of these, so get ready to go. Now, I already hear some of you out there trash talking the whole deal, going, those are 1950s drinks. Well, listen here, Sonny. You better start showing some GD respect. But work for these cocktails your ass won't be here today, Todd. Do the math on that one. Oh, you don't want to do the math? I'll do the math, okay? Nana plus pink squirrel plus grandpa times two grasshoppers divided by one Brandy Alexander plus one backseat of a Buick LeSabre equals you standing here today. So show some respect for the cocktails, Todd. Now, Todd, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're an accident, but your parents definitely were. Now, supper clubs were all over the Midwest in the 50s. It's where you went for a dessert or, or after church when you're saying, ah, we're going to get brunch really meant we're going to get lit up on ice cream drinks and folks there's one thing all these drinks got in common and that's wisconsin cows that's right we got the ice cream and the whipping cream now i know what you're thinking but happy cows come from california Actually, that's false. The closest thing I've ever seen to a happy cow in California is an oversized Dalmatian looking all lustful at a Pomeranian Beverly Hills. So, happiest cows come from Wisconsin. Everyone knows that. And during this quarantine, the dairy farmers and the cows have been working hard to keep us fed. So, let's support them by buying from your local Wisconsin dairy farmer. So, enough chit chat. Let's get right down to business. We're going to start off with the grasshopper because it involves ice cream and it's melting fast here. Now, you can make a grasshopper with milk if you're boring. This ice Ice cream's made from sassy cow right up the street in Columbus, Wisconsin, okay? Crack this bad boy open. Get one of these uh, things like the magic bullet. You put it on, it goes I'll show you that in a second. Need an ice cream scooper. Toss two scoops in here, okay? Make them big scoops, you know, make Bessie proud. And then grab your shot glass, measure out uh, one shot of this stuff, creme de menthe or whatever. I got no idea how to pronounce any of this stuff. It looks kind of like thick wintergreen mouthwash and Honestly, that's exactly what it smells like, okay? So, buyer beware, all right? And then you're gonna get the uh, creme uh, de coco, okay? Or cacao, or and you're gonna measure out another shot of that. And that smells like minty chocolate, probably because I didn't wash out the shot glass. And then to add a little bit more texture, you're gonna wanna get some ice, okay? So obviously, you know, get your hammer, drop a little ice in there. Probably not that much, okay? Shoot, missed. I gotta get that or it's gonna melt and leave a mark. Then I'll get yelled at. Twist her up a little bit and then uh, let her rip. Shoot. So that's not working as well as I thought it would. Shake it up. I don't know what's going on here to be honest. Maybe don't put the ice cubes in there after all. They're not breaking down like they should. What the heck's going on? Sounds like I dropped a spoon in the garbage disposal. That's enough for that. Uh, and then you open her up and then you pull out one of the glasses you took from Nana. These are vintage from the 50s, folks. Okay, and pour it in there and boy, don't that look good. Let me tell you, you serve this up to a special gentleman, mistakes will be made. Mmm. It tastes like an Andy's candy, okay? I did good. Okay, so that was grandpa's drink. Now it's time for grandma's drink. This one's called a pink squirrel, okay? Now the pink squirrel's got some similarities and that's the creme de cocao. You get a shot of that going. And then you're also gonna use uh, this stuff, which is called, excuse me. Oh, tastes like grasshopper. And then this is called a uh, creme de noyau. It's French, okay? And uh, you're gonna do a shot of that, all right? So pour that in there. Mm. Looks and smells like cough syrup. Now for this cocktail, you're gonna want a heavy cream, all right? So I got the Organic Valley from Lafarge, Wisconsin. And you're gonna wanna do an ounce of cream, okay? So that's a shot of cream. Don't forget the ice. Now the ice is just gonna chill the drink and then you're gonna shake it. And you're gonna wanna shake it pretty hard. So I recommend you do, uh, I don't wanna work. Just wanna bang on my drum all day. I'm off beat, but you know, I'm white. That's to be expected. Then get your strainer out. Pour the, oh, look at, that is, uh, yum, huh? And there you have it, a very beautiful color of Pepto-Bismol. Now look, a gentleman does not serve a pink squirrel with no straw. So when you need a straw, you obviously go to the junk drawer. Ah, shoot, I still haven't put this on the car. And you pull out uh, a bobber and just like that, folks. Mmm, mmm, delicious. There you have it, the pink squirrel, okay? Shoot. Oh, you don't want to stay in the glass, huh? Well, I'll show you. 
Folks, if your bobber don't stay in the glass, just show it who's boss. Bada bing, bada boom. And now you got your straw. Just don't tell dad you cut his bobber. I'll tell you this, Pepto-Bismol tastes a lot better coming on a straw. Okay, let's keep her moving. Now it's time for our nightcap drink, the Brandy Alexander. Folks, it's very important you never drink a Brandy Alexander without wearing your lounge robe. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, I'm aware I look like the curtains. Now to make Brandy Alexander, you're obviously gonna need brandy. So, pull out your tackle box and get your brandy. Must have been a bad day fishing. Now the ingredients for Brandy Alexander are pretty simple. Brandy, about four fingers to the top if you're serious about the deal. Now all you gotta do is add uh, Alexander, wherever he may be. <laughs> Is that pretty funny or no? No, okay. But seriously folks, what you need to now add is uh, one shot of creamed cocoa. This is the butter that makes all the cookies or the uh, liqueur that makes all the cocktails. All right, that was an analogy and I hope you got it. And you dump one of them in. Next up, you're gonna do uh, an ounce of cream. And again, we're going the heavy whipping cream. So you take an ounce, put that in there and then a little bit more in for your heart. So we got the brandy, the cream, the cream, the cocoa and then oh shoot gosh dang it be careful not to get your robe stuck in the fridge okay put some ice in there pop this on the deal give it a shake give her a sing you know now you're gonna want to really shake this one hard okay to get the uh, stuff to all blend together i don't know why that's the case i just heard someone say it once and didn't question it okay now uh interesting story the brandy alexander is actually john lennon's favorite drink imagine there's no brandy i wonder if you can. Nope, can't emotionally go there. Oh wait, I almost forgot. You gotta put nutmeg on the top. So put a little nutmeg on there, okay? Oh, don't that look pretty, folks? Covers up all the mistakes and take a little uh, swig off this. Mmm, you got no shortage of brandy in that little guy. Tastes like a hangover. Now folks, in these quarantine times, it's extra important that we support the farmers that support us. So make sure when you're making these drinks, you buy some from a local Wisconsin dairy farmer, okay? And if you head on over to wisconsincheese.com slash help, you can find out how you can support Wisconsin dairy farmers from anywhere in the country, okay? Cheers to you now. I hope this was the best cocktail tutorial of your life. As always, go Packers and f*** the Bears. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down, just keep her moving.